my second time filming this video. I sat down last night for two hours. One hour was spent recharging my battery. The second hour was spent me filming. And then I come home from school and I sit down and I review the, all the footage on my computer and everything was blurry. It was really dark. I mean, I guess I could have did better lighting um, because I do have a ring light, so I should have better lighting. I'm still, like, not a fan of, like, how to... I don't know how to... <sighs> Let's just get to the point. The video sucked. So the film, what I'm filming today is... My Ipsy bag came in. I've subscribed to Ipsy months ago. I think I subscribed in either September or the beginning of November because I felt like $10 on really high-end products, not a bad idea. So it took months for my Ipsy bag to come in. I didn't even think I would ever get an Ipsy bag just because I, I heard that they were on back order. Not really like back order, but um, there were so many people on the list that, you know, when you first subscribe, that you probably won't get it as soon as you're supposed to. So finally it came in. I came home at 11 p.m. last night and this was sitting on my table. So I filmed <laughs> and it was a disaster. So I know what's inside the bag so I guess I can give you guys a better review on the item but I wanted to be like a first impression. So let's just start off with the actual bag. I hate it. I don't hate what's inside of it. I hate the way it looks. I'm not trying to be disrespectful anyway. Everybody has their own opinion about what they like. I don't like the design. This just isn't me. This just looks like a first grader like took some stuff and glued it on. I'm not a fan of this one. I know it's supposed to be really artsy, but this is for my first one. I do not want it to come out looking like this. Like when I opened that package, I expected something like glam, like glittery, shiny, you know, really pretty and girly. This is like a first grader's pencil case. What's inside? Now that's a different story. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is this, uh, yeah, OPI. I mean, yeah, OPI. Now, speaking of the actual, um, oh my god, what is this? Brain fart. Brain fart! Nail polish. <laughs> Speaking of the actual nail polish, I hate it. Like, I don't hate it. I like the color, but there's like these black spots in them, like black fuzzies or something like that, that um, I don't like. It just makes the nail polish look dirty to me. If it was just this regular minty color, I would be fine with it, but it's not, and that's why I'm not a big fan. I actually went on the website and rated everything for extra points. I didn't really, I would have gone on the website and rated it even if. It, they didn't give me points because I wanted to make sure my future Ipsy bags would be something I like. And I... <laughs> How do you guys like this background? I kind of like this whole have a picture in the background type thing. But let me know if you liked me in my room where it was my black uh, desk was behind me. But I'm kind of liking this. Anyway. What was I saying? So I rated it and I said that this color wasn't for me. Um, nail polishes were okay, but I wanted to receive nail polishes just because nail polishes in general are expensive. These are what, $8.99, and the bag is worth $10. So I already got my almost the full price, the full worth of the bag out of this nail polish. Could have been something better, but I'm not opposed to nail polishes. Maybe in the future I will be, but for right now, I don't mind. I just don't like this color. It was a long review for a nail polish. <laughs> So the next thing I'm bringing out is my Pixie product, and you guys know I did my, um, I swear I got brain farts. I was, in, I was sitting in class today, and I was talking about my research paper that I was going to be doing on human nature in my philosophy class, and I was calling monogamy, monogamy, I was calling, uh, polygamy, polygamy, like I could not talk today and I seemed really retarded but luckily people know me so they were like laughing along with me but I did a video about my workout and how to make your uh, after workout makeup look somewhat decent and I used a Pixie product 
And so I got another Pixi product. When I first, in the first video that I shot up for this, I did say it was a little bit sticky after I put it on, but after it um, it settled, it wasn't sticky anymore. It does have shimmer, so when I'm done with my skin lights that I've been using recently, if you look at my Jennifer Lopez video, you'll see me using that highlighter on my face. This is also kind of has shimmer in it, so it makes you look luminous. I like that. Some people don't like that, but for me, I like my face to be healthy and glowy because I have normal to dry skin, and sometimes virgin, it was really dry sometimes, so I like this. Um, and maybe I could do a first impression on how well the primer is because the primer could be really bad, but other than that, I really like the way this looks. So then the next one I was really excited about, this is by Be A Bombshell, and this is the Bora Bora palette. I've never tried... Um, be a bombshell. I think it's expensive, but I've heard about it on YouTube I've just never tried it and I don't go to Sephora very often. I'm more of a drugstore girl Just because I can't afford you know Sephora every day But I swear to God when I get me some Muna, I'm gonna be going to Sephora So don't you guys be commenting on me saying oh you've changed you're now high end now that you got money You damn straight. I'm going to Sephora. But anyway um, Be a bombshell. It's really pigmented but this is, I don't think they have it on the back. This is Bora Bora, I can't even say, I don't remember. Did you guys hear me slap my, my leg? Um, I'm not wearing any pants right now because I was about to go take a nap. But I, I had to refilm this so that it looked somewhat decent. This is a really pigmented um, eyeshadow quad. I did just buy two other eyeshadow palettes. So having this, I was like, yay, but then I was like, ugh, why did I spend money? But I wasn't expecting this to come in the mail. I like this. I'm going to think, I think I'm going to do another look using blue eyeshadow. So tell me, are you guys up for that? Because spring is coming up, and I'm kind of getting into this blue trend, even though the color this year is orchid. I don't have anything orchid, so we're going to stick with blue. The last item is actually... The last item is a lipstick. This is my favorite thing that came in the palette. This is by um, Bare Minerals. Bare, Bare Minerals. And this is in the, the color Get Ready. And it's from the Marvelous Moxie collection. Oh my god. This color is gorgeous. If you watch some of my videos, I use the lipstick from The Body Shop. That's an excellent everyday color. It's the nice wash of color. This is gorgeous. This is my next one. I'm going to buy the full size of this. This is a pretty good size, but I'm going to go back and buy the full size of this because it's gorgeous. <laughs> um, it smells just like the MAC lipsticks, this vanilla smell. It's like the cream sheen. Is that what it's called? The uh, lipsticks that MAC has. That's what it feels like. Uh, the color. Look. Ugh. Gorgeous. I have it on right now. And I smell it on my lips. I hope this is less expensive than MAC. I think it should be. I'll put the price somewhere up here because I wanted to show you guys a price by price comparison about what you're paying for and how much the products, each of them are worth so you know... Um, is it really worth it right now? This is my first bag right now. I'm very impressed like I thought I was gonna hate Ipsy because so many people were just like uh, They're mediocre products. I know some advanced uh, makeup artists were like I already have this this doesn't match me um, This is too light for me. So I was thinking I was gonna hate it, but I am an amateur with, with makeup. I was going to say an amateur makeup artist. I'm not aspiring to be a makeup artist, but I am an amateur with makeup, so I, I don't really have all these types of products. So I'm, I get impressed easily. I think you should go through life being impressed easily. It keeps life fun, carefree. So I, I don't want to ever judge anything too harshly because that's, you know, let's not go through life so negative, even though I know I can be negative. But anyway, I'm getting philosophical thinking I just came out of philosophy class so that's why I'm thinking like this but I hate the bag I love the content I say by my third ipsy bag I should know if I really want to stay subscribed to them so hopefully the next bag is just as good as this I'll talk to you guys later I hope you like let me know if you want to see more of these and I'll see you guys later bye